You're watching TT Boxing in association with IFL TV and KO Clothing. I'm joined by Damien Super Hooper, fresh off the back of his UD win over Nader the Lionheart Hamdan. Thanks for joining yeah. us, mate. Yeah, no, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Absolute shout out there today. Won every round on, I think, all three judges' yeah. scorecards. Um, looked very comfortable in there and yeah. you know, took control as the fight went on. Nader is by far one of the most experienced people you've probably fought in, yeah. in your career so far. So, what did you take from the fight and, and how you feeling after the. After yeah. the uh, it was a good eight rounds, you know. I was getting my shots off and I was feeling really comfortable in there, so I was getting them off quite frequently. So. I think I rushed it a little bit with throwing a few combinations, but over the eight rounds, you know, I, I paced it and then I kept um, my uh, composure and started, kept my jab going. So as long as I had that going through the fight, I felt comfortable. And um, he came on strong in the end, but you know, I knew I had it once, so I didn't have to do too much to put myself in any awkward position. So I had it quite comfortably, yeah. Yeah, and um, you say it was his. Um he was getting comfortably beaten, but he just kept coming back, especially at the end of every round. And you can say so you can see why they called him the, the lion heart. What was it like, say, finding someone that just wouldn't give up like that? Oh, it was good, you know. And we had a few words exchanged towards the end. And you know, I love fighting as well. So towards the end, it was coming a bit of a scrap, you know. And that's when you know we started like throwing them, but. You know, I had fun in there, and that's the important thing. You know, Nate is a legend for staying around and you know taking them eight rounds. Oh, eight rounds of, of pain he just took mm. just then. But hats off to him; he does got a big heart. But you know, whether you know he should be in here now, taking that kind of punishment, I don't know if he'll he'll be around for much longer because he might be taking a bit of damage yeah. to the brain. You know. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, yeah. so I think after you, after a shutout like that, you probably you know start to con consider those kind of things. But in terms of yourself, it's a fantastic win to end the year. What uh, what are your plans for next year? Now you've got this this win behind you. Well, um, big plans. You know, next year my, my manager Brandon Burke. You know, trying to get opportunities in place. It's hard for me to get fights in uh, in Australia, but I'm just going to keep training over Christmas, keep sharp, and you know I've got a goal now for for me and my son, and I'm just going to keep training hard and hopefully uh, make it where I want to go. Excellent. Well, I say, you know, massive card today. You would have put yourself in the spotlight. So hopefully there'll be some uh, some big fights ahead for you in uh, in 2017. I know you're keen to probably go off and get a shower and then watch your stable mate uh, Brandon fight yeah, later definitely. on. So yeah, we'll, we'll uh, wish all the best. Anyone yeah. else want to give a shout out to? Oh, just to my nan back home and my little son. Yeah. So thanks for watching me and supporting me, and you know, I look forward to watching Brandon tonight take this fellow apart. Yeah. Thanks for the interview. No worries. Cheers, Amy. Thanks, yeah. mate. Cheers, mate.